European politics has been in a state of flux since the 1980s. I examine how increasing instability, for example in the form of fragmentation and polarization, impacts on the quality of democracy. With the knowledge I obtain in my research projects, I advise government and parliament. Hence, I'm a part-time researcher and part-time consultant of sorts. So how do fundamental changes, such as the breakthrough of new parties and the politicization of new issues, transform European democracies? And why is it important that we translate the answer to this question into policy change? In the research projects I have conducted with my colleagues, I find that the structure of competition is changing in Europe. Parties compete for different groups of voters on both socio-economic and socio-cultural issues. The complexity of the new structure of competition makes it increasingly difficult to form stable government coalitions. On the basis of my findings, the Council of Public Administration, an advisory body of which I am a member, has advised political parties to form a minority government after the 2017 Dutch elections. Research demonstrates that minority governments are effective in contexts of fragmentation because they allow for the construction of flexible majorities. I feel it is important to translate my research findings into practical policy advice, because as political scientists we have a responsibility to protect the quality of democracy. Presenting research outcomes to a broader audience, or even to stakeholders, is not enough to have impact. It requires thinking about the meaning of your findings for policymakers or politicians, and assisting them with translating your findings into actual policies, even when your advice is not implemented, as was the case with our advice to form a minority government after the 2017 Dutch elections. After all, Change often takes time.